In this video, I'm going to be showing you a lot of different ways that you can optimize your farms for resource production. The benefit of doing this is that you'll be able to get a lot of free resources from your resource production buildings without having to send your troops out to gather. This is especially good for players that don't use bots and don't have a lot of time to access their farm accounts. But even if you're active on your farms, you'll still benefit from it since your farms will be able to produce more resources using these methods. The first thing you should do is max out all of the resource production investments in the resources section of the invest center. You should try doing these investments using only your safe resources as it's extremely expensive to convert them into unsafe resources. The second thing that will give you a lot of resource production is your equipment. You'd want to use the level 30 M16 assault rifle and the level 35 golden knuckles weapon along with the kingpin set pieces for the remaining pieces of equipment. This will give you a 253.92% cash production buff along with a 68% buff for cargo, arms, and metal. If you max out their augmentation levels and get all the extra bonuses that you get from vigilantes, investments, hitman services, etc., those buffs will go up to 590.54% cash production buff, 127.6% arms production buff, and 123.6% cargo and metal production buff. There's the Godfather's Ring which can give you up to 120% resource production from any one of its alteration buffs, plus an extra 80% cargo production from its basic buff. You can also get another 80% cargo production buff if you augment it to level 20 and an extra 15.2% from the multiplier buffs. For your Roadster, you'd want to use Tidal Wave to get 40% more resource production. You can also add some emblems to get extra resource production. Putting 7 level 6 production emblems for each resource type on all of your pieces of equipment can give you up to 99.6% resource production buff. Then you have Vigilantes. You have Adriana, Natalie, Melvin, Itame, Chakrachai, and Tien who all increase your resource production. Out of these, Natalie and Tien can only be obtained by spending while the others can be obtained for free. You'd also want to invest in vigilantes like Kiko, Frankie, Izumi, Caesar, etc. for their equipment buffs. A lot of these vigilantes can be obtained using the fragments that you get from the Vicious Larceny event. Then there's the SVIP 10 buff which gives 25% more resource production. You can get another 20% by purchasing the exclusive buffs from the level 3 and 5 plantation stores. Then there's the skill tree which can give you up to 220% cash and cargo production, 200% arms production, and 100% metal production if you invest in all the resource production related investments. You also have the season mastery skill which gives another 200% resource production when maxed out. Then there are clan investments that give 10% resource production. You also have the babes Diana and Karina who together give 27% cash and cargo production and 15% arms and metal production. So in total using all of these methods you can get up to 1502% cash production, 1210% cargo production, 987% arms production and 883% metal production. You can also get a lot more by equipping golden quality developing pieces to each of your vigilantes as the resource production buffs from the developing pieces are stackable. However, I've ignored vigilante equipment as it's unrealistic since it takes a very long time to make. I've also ignored a few more sources which give a little bit of resource production like title buffs, official buffs, newspaper buffs, etc. which are either difficult or might not be worth getting on your farm accounts. Finally, you can then significantly increase your resource production by further using resource production buff items. These will literally double your existing production after adding the buff, so you'll be able to get twice the amount of your buffed resource production every time you collect resources. I highly recommend using resource production buffs on your farm accounts before you collect resources to get maximum value from them. If you're not sure how to correctly use resource production buffs, you can watch my video on this topic, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. 
If you want to see what a good farm account with high resource production looks like, I'd like to give a shout out to Farmer John from City 614, who has a cargo production of almost a million per hour, a cash production of over 660,000 per hour, arms production of more than 100,000 per hour, and metal production of more than 19,000 per hour on his Elite 2 farm account. So that means he gets around 34 million cargo, 22 million cash, 35 million arms, and 665,000 metal daily on his farm account just by collecting resources there and using the shakedown skill. So that's how you can increase your resource production on your farm account. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.